The only approval you need is of God. You don't need anybody else's approval for anything. His approval is all you need. You don't you really don't need anyone's approval. Like it's just as long as you're serving God and as long as you know that He loves you and I mean sometimes it's hard to be totally Christian, but there are scriptures that say don't be overly righteous. You don't have to be overly righteous. Like if you wanna if you wanna sing a worldly song, you know, it's fine. You don't have to be overly righteous. You could just you could just still give your life to God and be who you are. You could be a Christian, but you don't have to be like holier than thou. You don't have to be better than anybody. You know, and if you mess up, just ask God to forgive you. Like today I posted a worldly song. It's like so what? God knows what I like and don't like. He like he knows my heart. He knows if he sends me on an assignment, I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability. And some testings I might fail. You know, like in school, when you're in school you're not gonna always you're not gonna always um get a good grade. You might be tired, you might not have studied, or it might be really a hard exam. So, you know, don't beat yourself up. Just be like, okay, I'm going to study harder next time. You don't, you don't pass every test. You know, but the thing is just don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your beliefs. If you believe in God, that's good. You know, some people don't. You know, like, even if you fell short of the glory of God for like a while, and then you got back up one day and said, I'm going to go back to church, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So you just have to um, know that, you know, he supports he supports you coming home like the prodigal son. He's still going to be happy when you come home. Cause the prodigal son was gone and his father was worried about him. And when he came back, he was super happy. So you could have your prodigal son moments. You could have party phases. You could have, you know doing wrong phases just as long as you know that you have to go back as soon as possible <laughs> we don't want to stay out there too long you know like we're sent out sheeps among wolves you know but the thing is to obey God as much as you can you know like just take it to God like I was going through a crisis one time and I was like God I don't really want to go like five or six months like this long you know um, being celibate and then um you know, it just it was I just took it to God. It says cast all your cares upon him and I did. And you know, it was my choice to mess up. There was I don't know if the devil sent this guy or God sent him, but it was my choice. I could have just chose not to and just kept serving God. Like I'm still serving God. But if you sin or you fall short, you just you just gotta repent, you know. And just see what's around the corner. Try not to do it as much as you would like to do it, you know, try not to fall short. You know, like, we would all have, like to do things that we're not supposed to do. You can't go, you, you know, you can't go and beat somebody up that's annoying you, so it's like, you gotta have some kind of boundaries. Like, I would like to smoke weed every day. I would like to, you know, have sex every day, but it's like, it doesn't mean that you're gonna do it. You're just putting up your own you have to put up your own boundaries. If we could do what we want, what kind of world would we live in? It would be like so disorderly. People would be just like running around like doing whatever we want. So we have to have some kind of some kind of good boundaries, I guess. Healthy boundaries. <laughs> I don't know what movie I'm watching. It's called The Good Nurse. <laughs> the Good Nurse. Like my hair's not fixed today like I mean I washed it yesterday but <sighs> at least I'm clean I had a shower today I'm gonna go for my walk again I'll probably jog a little I'm gonna put my tennis shoes on today and I'm gonna jog a little I try to stay motivated even like when I'm going through rock bottomness or whatever it is I'm going through you just gotta stay you gotta stay you know motivated like get out there and go get some fresh air you know you could lose weight like that I'm already losing weight just by walking like just walking helps you. Like I lose weight easy. I don't. It does. It doesn't take much for me to lose weight. I just haven't been doing my normal 
house exercises, but I could still do them in the house, but I just don't feel like it lately. I'll just do them when I go back to the gym. So it is what it is. I was trying to take a nap, but then one of the the lady that was getting on my nerves originally, she she woke me up. But. <laughs> She's supposed to make dinner for everybody. I think I'll pass. <laughs> anyway, um, have you guys? You guys have a good day. Stay blessed. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Okay, I'll see y'all later. God bless.